Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and I have a really exciting video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between lab grown diamonds and natural diamonds. This topic is honestly sparked because of my latest Majuri haul. As you guys can see, I have not opened this up yet. I'm going to be opening this up in front of you, but Majuri is having a diamond sale. I'm going to be leaving the details here for you. So I thought this would be the perfect time. Also because they just launched lab grown diamonds up until now I didn't own any lab grown diamonds but it's really interesting because there's been a lot of discussion between what is the difference between natural diamonds and lab grown so all of the stuff that you're going to be hearing from today is the stuff that I personally found out and some of the stuff that is specifically pertaining to a Majuri's lab grown diamond the first thing that you guys should know is that lab grown diamonds are still very much diamonds they are basically created in the same environment that is mimicked in a laboratory in fact, if you look at the two diamonds on its this is what happens when you live downtown. In fact, when you actually look at two diamonds, lab grown versus natural, you cannot tell whether or not it's lab grown or natural by simply looking at it. You actually need a device to be able to tell you if it's lab grown or if it is natural. The second biggest difference, which I think a lot of people are gonna care about the most is the price point of a lab grown versus natural diamond. For the same price of a natural diamond, you can get a much bigger diamond in a lab grown form. So I thought that was really interesting. The next point that I wanted to talk about is of course, kind of the sustainability factor of a lab grown diamond, especially depending on where you're buying your lab grown diamond. So in Madri's case, they have very carefully selected their vendor. I will leave a screenshot here about their vendor, which I think this is extremely important, especially if you're going towards lab grown. If you are looking for natural diamonds, you also need to be very, very careful of how it is sourced. And then the final reason Wait, I think that's it. It's obviously at the end of the day, a personal preference. As you guys know, I have a lot of natural diamond products from Majuri. This is my first time having lab grown. I will give a very authentic review of what I think about it, you know, in a month. I can't do that right now since like I said, I have just gotten the products. So I can tell you some visual things that I see, which I don't expect to, because like I said, according to my research, you're not supposed to be able to tell the difference, but I can show you some of what their lab grown pieces look like and how the prices also compare as well. I am partnered up with Majuri for this video. And if you guys are a first time purchaser of Majuri, make sure you guys use the links down below. You will get 10% off immediately. The link will have the discount embedded, which will be automatically applied upon checkout. Like I mentioned, I did get four products from Majuri. I got three lab grown products and I got one natural diamond piece. So let's start off with the lab grown item because I haven't ever seen one, so I am so excited. Okay, this is the first product in your Majuri box. It also comes with a little note. It is made by Science and it is also SCS Global Certified and reminds you that it is climate neutral, responsibly and ethically produced. You can also trace it from start to finish. This is the first item. It is absolutely gorgeous. So this is what the piece looks like. As you guys can see, the diamonds are all the way at the top. Unlike this one, this is their other diamond piece. This one is the natural diamond and this one goes all the way around, but you can also see the huge price point difference. I'm going to leave one over here and one over here. So you guys can kind of see, obviously this is also one sided diamond versus all the way around, but my point still stands. I think that if you were to get a ring all the way round that is lab grown it is going to be significantly cheaper as well okay on to the next product oh this is so interesting i even got a little certificate right here this one tells you the carat weight the clarity the metal id number this is fabulous i feel like if you were to ever resell your jewelry this card is going to come in handy by a lot Oh my God, you guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is the lab grown diamond tennis bracelet. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I just put on the diamond tennis bracelet. This one is the one that I just got that is lab grown. As you guys can see, it is a circular diamond tennis bracelet. Meanwhile, this is the natural diamond tennis bracelet from Majuri. It's not a total apples to apples comparison because the style is already very different. As 
as you guys can see, this one is more square, whereas this one, you guys can see that it is a circular and it also has a bigger solid gold casing around each diamond. But the most exciting thing is I have another bracelet to show you. So let's open that up. This one is in the style that you guys might have seen. I mentioned before that I was extremely excited for this style because it looks really classy and yet edgy at the same time. I think it's because of the sharp, triangular shape. Okay, I just put on the third diamond tennis bracelet. This one is definitely way, way, way edgier. It is also thicker than the two other bracelets. And this is what it looks like, all three of them side by side. So these two here are natural and this one here is the lab grown. And like I said, if I just showed you these three diamond tennis bracelets, you're not gonna be able to tell me which one's lab grown and which one is natural. I mean, besides the fact that I told you, but you're really not gonna know. Last but not least, I have the last lab grown item here. I'm so excited. I just love opening up my jewelry boxes. I have more joy in the last 15 minutes than I did this entire month. Anyway, oh my gosh, you know what? I actually have these in natural diamond and I got these to show you literally a side by side comparison, but my mom, she borrowed these earrings one day and she just wore it home to Vancouver. So I can't even show you the side-by-side -side comparison, but honestly, from just even looking at it, these ones are definitely bigger. The shape is a little bit different, but most importantly, they honestly, I cannot tell the difference between these ones and my other ones. They look just as amazing and these are just huge diamond studs. If you guys have been looking at those diamond earrings for a while, every single year, for their Black Friday sale, it's the one item and like the large diamond necklace. I recommend these every single year. I'm so passionate about those earrings and I know that they're expensive, but if you guys have been just kind of like eyeing them as well, but you never wanted to kind of spend the money, this is your chance right now. If you're watching this video as I've appropriately released it on time, you will be within the week of diamond week and you would be able to save money off of diamonds. But then on top of that, lab grown diamonds, this this is also gonna be a little bit cheaper. So if you guys have been looking and eyeing these type of earrings, now's your chance. Literally now is your chance. I just, oh my God, I'm gonna put them on right now. This is what the diamond studs look like. I'm just absolutely obsessed. Like I said, you guys, right now is the best chance for you guys to save some money off of Majuri products, only on their diamond products, because this is going to be the biggest sale up until Black Friday. As you guys know, they do a once a year, 20% off Black Friday sale, but that's not until November. So right now you can save a little bit more. And if you guys need ideas on on what to get for a diamond week. You guys can also check out my last year's video on which diamond pieces were my favorite. So you guys make sure you watch that video here. I go through all of my diamond products there, but then also you guys can check out my website, lisaway.com slash Majuri. This is my entire collection from Majuri and I highly, highly recommend you guys looking at it. But anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and I will talk to you guys in another one. Bye.